IKEA hacks and DIYs. And as always, these DIYs are things that you can find in the marketplace section in IKEA. So they're very small DIYs, they're not like big furniture pieces. But one day, when I have the space to do furniture, I will do them. <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoy this video and if you are new and you haven't done it already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and be informed of all of my future videos. Most of them are DIYs like this. Anyway, let's get straight into the video. First up, I want to show you how to make this very simple hat display. If you, like me, have a lot of hats and know where to put them, this will be perfect for you. And like I said, it's very easy, so let's get into it. You're going to need one of these rugs. They're £1.90 from IKEA. You'll need a dowel and you will also need some S hooks. I actually got these in Tiger, but you can get them at the hardware store. Start by cutting off any tags from your rug and then go ahead and measure your dowel making sure you've just got a little bit extra on the ends. Mine's a little bit too short but it does work perfectly for this project. I would just give it about an extra half inch either side. Go ahead and cut all the tassels off the side that you will be working on and leave the tassels on the other end. Then take a hot glue gun and glue a line down the length of the rug and add your dowel. Once you've done this, use a little bit more glue either side and then roll the rug over the top and press it down, making sure it's stuck very firmly in place. Leave this to dry for about 5 minutes and then cut a piece of twine or very strong string and tie it to the ends of your dowel like I'm doing here. And you can use a little bit of hot glue to keep it in place if you would like, just to make sure that it doesn't come off. Then go ahead and hang up your rug on a very strong hook or nail in your wall and use the S hooks to poke holes through the rug. I actually pre-poked these holes but then just poke them through and then you can hang your hats on them. I think this is a really fun and different way to store your hats, especially hats like these which are very difficult to store in boxes or wardrobes and it just can become a little kind of display piece in your bedroom. Next up, I'm going to show you how to make this a really cool glittery photo frame. I think this is definitely really unique and you can use it to display whatever kind of photos or inspirational quotes that you would like. I'm displaying a picture of New York in it, so what you'll need is an old photo frame or one from Ikea if you would like. You'll also need some Mod Podge and you'll need some of this stuff which is called Coolort and you can find this in the floral section of Ikea. It's used for vase filler and it's very inexpensive. So go ahead and spray paint your frame silver or whatever colour you would like, I think metallic silver works really well. And then dab some Mod Podge all over your frame and then you can go ahead and sprinkle the coolot glittery things all over your frame. Leave it to dry for about 24 hours and then go ahead and add more Mod Podge on top to hold the little pieces in place. And this is what it should look like. It's really different and I think it's a fun way to spice up your photo frames. Next up is this very simple cork display which would look great above your desk or above a vanity area for jewellery or whatever you want and you can use this to display your jewellery or any kind of photos or memorabilia. This is so simple, all you'll need is some cork coasters from the kitchen section, some paint in the colour of your choice and obviously paint brushes. All you're going to do is go ahead and paint the cork circles and let them dry as long as they need to, preferably overnight. Go for a range of different colours and you'll end up with something that looks like this. I picked really muted colours and then you can go ahead and display any kind of trinkets but also it's really great for sticking earrings in and you can use some pins to stick your rings and necklaces on it too. And lastly I want to show you how to make this glitter coaster which is once again very simple to do and you can use this to put any of your little potted plants or anything in your room on. So you'll need some more of that coolort once again you can tell I love this stuff and you'll need one of these coasters with the indent. You'll also need some Mod Podge 
and a hot glue gun. So we're going to be using this culotte stuff again like I said and what we're going to do is fill the inside of the coaster with it. So I'm using a hot glue gun and doing very small sections and filling them as I go like so. I made sure to tip out any of the extra little pieces of this glittery glass stuff as I went that way it didn't get all mixed up with the glue but keep going and do this all the way and then once you've finished you can go ahead and use some Mod Podge and coat it in a very thick layer of Mod Podge and let this dry overnight and once you've done that it should be ready to be used as a coaster. This is more of a decorative coaster because it is a little bit bumpy so I wouldn't put any hot drinks on it but it can be used for decoration in your bedroom. So that is all I have to show you for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below if you're going to try any of these and and tell me in the comments down below what is your favorite food from Ikea I'm really interested to know because a lot of people like the meatballs and I've never eaten them because I'm veggie so I'm like are they even good what's the hype about the meatballs my favorite food is the dime cake and anything they have in those little tester jars because you know free food <laughs> anyway I hope you guys like this as always don't forget to subscribe like the video if you did like it and check out my social media I will leave that linked down below have a great day and I will see you in my next video bye